Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Ward. I've been doing implant dentistry for about 20 years, and one of the things that's common to most patients as they come in is in their research to figure out which options are the best choice for them. What are the advantages and disadvantages of each one? Um, what are the costs and what are the obstacles and, and what are the expectations with all of them? So today I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about each option and then at the end I want to be transparent and just kind of talk about some costs so that you can kind of figure out for you specifically what's the right thing for you. Here at our implant center we're just passionate about changing lives and seeing the transformation of people and this is just such a big component that I hope this helps you in your research. Okay, so the first option that I'd like to talk to you about is dentures. Uh, dentures are a very common treatment choice. Uh, millions of people have them, and there are some advantages for sure with dentures. Obviously, when we look at dentures, the smile can be transformed. The teeth can look beautiful. Um, we can pick whatever color we want. We can position the teeth where they need to be. Um, if a smile is all we're looking for, dentures are a great option for that. When dentures become a problem is when you start talking about function. Um, we know from research that when you go to a denture from natural teeth, you lose about two thirds of the, the forces that you can put when you're chewing food. So basically, your menu changes to about, you can eat about a third of what you'd like to eat or a third of the things that natural teeth can eat. So you're at a disadvantage from that standpoint. The acrylic on the inside, you have to have the acrylic so that their surface area so that it stays up. A denture, you don't want to fall down even though sometimes they fall down. Um, so by covering the palate the way that we do, um, it takes away some of the textures of foods. You lose some of the tasting. So there's some things, um, the gag reflex potentially uh, is engaged. So there's some things about that that aren't ideal. Um, when we talk about the flanges or the extensions in the corners of your mouth where this has to go up and hold on to, it creates a bulkiness there where it can be sore and your cheeks get used to trying to hold the denture in so your muscles get adapted to that. But one of the things that happens is with that extension, it changes your profile. So you've seen the people when they take their dentures out or put them in, sometimes it just doesn't look natural because you have to have enough material here so that it can hang on to the jaw. So that's some of the disadvantages with dentures. While the aesthetics get better, um, when I used to do these, you could make the smile great. The problem is they just don't stay up real well and there's, there's some things that are less ideal. So sometimes, just comparing different dentures, sometimes the flanges or the extensions of the denture, because there's not a lot of jawbone left, the extensions are pretty short. So that's going to compromise how well that stays in at all. So you get into a situation where you're in public or eating or people just take them out to eat and they, they really become more recluse and, and they can't experience life the way that they want to. So that's another disadvantage. So one of the last disadvantages that I'll talk about with a denture is that when a jawbone isn't stimulated, when there aren't teeth in the jaw or when there aren't implants in the jaw, the jawbone resorbs over time or it gets smaller and kind of melts away. What happens with that is the underside of the denture that fits to the jawbone, if the jaw is resorbing or moving up, there's space created under this. So typically every year or two, we have to reline the denture so that it fits up against the tissue so that it's as stable as it can be. Obvious is, obviously, as the jaw gets smaller, there's less to hold on to, so it's less stable, but we have to fill in the gap so that it is, you chew as well as you can. But what that does is it creates some maintenance expenses. So every couple of years, you got four or $500 that you're spending per arch just to do a reline on it so you can make it fit against your jaw the best that you can. The next option I'd like to talk to you about is an overdenture. Overdentures are where we place implants into the jawbone, and these implants have attachments inside the denture so that when you put it in your mouth, it actually snaps into place. Now, a misconception with an overdenture, you'll hear it marketed as you can snap them in, they're solid, rock tight, and you'll function like your natural teeth, and it's just not accurate. In an overdenture, you're going to be able to chew with about 50 to 60% of the things that you used to with natural teeth. So it is definitely an advantage over a denture. What the implants do is they help hold the denture down at this point. 
your, your bone and gum tissue as you bite down and chew will support that load and it's just like a denture in terms of how you eat against the tissue. The difference is it doesn't fall out, it snaps in so you don't have to use the glue and the adhesives and the nasty things that you have to clean out every night. This will replace that. So it's a major advantage from that standpoint. The extensions of the denture are the same as what they are, uh, of an over denture are the same as what they are with a denture in that we have to cover all of the surface area that we can so that you have more to bite against and chew against so that you're comfortable. Sometimes you can get food under these as they do move. They're not absolutely solid. So you get food under them, you bite down on them. Sometimes that can be painful. With over dentures, it's kind of one of those things. It's a major advantage, but you're kind of a little bit short of where we get a fixed solution, which we'll talk about in a minute. The, it's almost like the analogy of buying a printer. The printer sometimes is a little bit cheaper to buy. It's buying the ink and continuing to, with the maintenance. With this, there's maintenance issues in that the little connections that you have for this to snap in, the more that you put them in and out, in and out, you wear on those, um, those attachments. Those have to be replaced every year or two, so you spend or four hundred dollars to replace the attachments and over time you can wear the gold abutments out so there are some maintenance with this um, the advantage though is it's not going to fall out on you not near as likely i have had patients tell me that it does typically we can change the clips and they get more retentive but in general a major advantage over a denture okay so the last option that i want to talk about today is an all-in four fixed bridge option um, this is transformative into when we put these in place, basically these are screwed into the implant, so this isn't removable. Where with an overdenture, you have to remove it at night, leave it out for at least seven hours, just like you do with a denture. This stays in your mouth like teeth. So there's different materials and different options as we talk about all in four options, and that's different price points, um, but they're different expectations. So it's one of the things that I like to go over is how do you determine which option is best for you? And a lot of it's lifestyle. Um, when you start out, one of the options is where we have denture teeth. We have the acrylic that holds the denture teeth in place, but there's a titanium bar that is connected, custom made, to fit all the implants, and that's what's screwed onto the implants as one piece. Then you have all this extra teeth and acrylic that we've actually made to connect to that bar. Problem is, if you have you bite just right on something, accidentally, whatever, you can break a denture tooth off. Where a natural denture, if you bite too hard, it'll just come out. This one's not gonna move. So the chance of you breaking a tooth off or acrylic off, there is some maintenance with this one, but it's a, it's a less expensive entry point to get into. Um, aesthetically, they're both beautiful. One's not better than another. For some people, if they're doing one arch at a time and they've got a denture on one side and they're going to have it attached on the other. This could be a good option and could save some money. So there's some advantages to it. Um, the advantage of going from an acrylic with a titanium bar to a zirconia. Zirconia is a powderized metal, but it's something that is basically what we call a tank in dentistry. This is almost indestructible. When it's done right and, and prepared and planned right, the thickness of this material and strength, when you, when you weigh one against the other and when you come into the office, we'll have you kind of look at this and hold it. But I would say this is probably 10 times heavier than what the titanium bar is. It's just more substantial. You could tell it's going to be able to take more loading and forces. If you're a grinder at night or you're hard on your teeth or, or what you want to eat as apples and carrots and some of those things, maybe the acrylic option with the denture teeth may not be the best solution for you. It may be you really want to go to the zirconia option. Um, both of them are one piece. How you clean under these, there's little um, proxy brushes that are a little fine brush that you'll actually be able to clean under these and we'll show you how to do that with a water pick. I get lots of questions in terms of hygiene, um, but very manageable. Um, the nice thing about this option is again, we don't have a palate here which keeps you from feeling the textures and food and the, just enjoying what you eat. This one um, when you talk, when you think about uh, hygiene, because it's a zirconia, zirconia is very kind to gum tissue. Where the acrylic with dentures, where the acrylic with overdentures, or even with the acrylic fix, those take on bacteria over years. So at some point, you have to replace all of those materials. Um, this is completely polishable, and this one, 
may last the rest of your life. That's kind of the goal with it. Again, just depends on how well you take care of it. And there's some risk factors that we'll talk about uh, hopefully when we have a chance uh, when you come in for a consult. And we'll talk about these in more detail, but hopefully this gives you something to ask questions about and get an idea about what m makes sense for you. So in terms of all the options, one of the considerations is, well, okay, how much is this gonna cost me and what, is that, uh, what does that entail? Well, dentures can be made all different ways. Um, when we used to do these, you could make a temporary denture. It would start around $500. Um, that wouldn't include any of the extractions, any of the bone grafting, the bone reshaping, all those things. So there's some components there. But typically, if you're going to go into a denture with all those things, you can expect $2,000 to $3,000 uh, for this option. When we talk about an overdenture, Depending if we do two implants or four implants and all the things that we've talked about, there's different risk factors and different components. Um, with a two, two implant overdenture, you can expect it's gonna be starting around $5,000. And then depending on what the extra things are, we work that in, but when we, when we do pricing and when we come in and we specifically customize your treatment plan, we will customize it in a bundled effect. Meaning, um, we aren't gonna nickel and dime all these procedures and all the codes. I'm going to group everything together and you're going to know exactly what each thing's, what the whole treatment will cost. Not going to be more than this and we're going to be real specific about that because I, am, I appreciate transparency and I appreciate knowing what that's going to be. So there, this, uh, the two implant overdenture starts around $5,000, um, the, the four starts around $9,000 depending on what we have to do. There's some variability there. It may go up into $11,000, but that gives you an idea for the four implant overdenture. For the all on four option, we're only talking about two different materials and there's tons of different materials now because we can actually control the materials. We design them. I actually design them personally. Um, we will print them in office for the temporaries, which you can tell these are look a little bit different, but these are temporaries that have some material that's added. This is what you leave with day of surgery. This isn't the final, but it's something that the teeth are in place and we'll be able to screw this down. So those are actually printed. These are milled. There's lots of different, different options. But in terms of the acrylic titanium bar, this is the second most common one that we do for a fixed option. These start around $16,000. Um, depending on, again, do you have teeth, do you have infections, um, do you have health concerns? Uh, what are the things that we have to do to get you the ultimate outcome? There are some things that affect that price. These can go up to $18,000. On average, that's a pretty good range to know about. When we talk about the zirconia option, this is the tank. This is the best of the best. When we choose this option, you can anticipate it's going to be $18,000 to $22,000, again, depending on what the, what the factors are, is it an upper, is it a lower? Um, there's, again, we'll customize your treatment plan. Some of these things when we talk about fixed options, it's something where I've had patients that come in and this is a, an investment of $300 a month that we figure out how to finance this for them and we get them approved where they can choose to change their life and be transformed for $300 a month. Um, obviously credit affects that and there's, we, our team works so hard to make sure you have all the options in front of you. What I know is that this changes lives. And so for me and my team, we try the best that we can to remove all of the obstacles for you where if this is what you want, you'll have the choice to do that. We're not a pressure place. This isn't a sales place where we're trying to push anything on you. I want to be transparent. I want to be honest with you. I want to show you what all these options are. I talk money about stuff that I don't see a lot in the industry. They kind of hide that and we do these every day, all day. So those things don't change. It helps me to filter some of that and go, look, in doing your research, this gives you an idea about what some of these costs might be and what might fit your treatment plan better or your goals for your life. Are you held back? Are you not able to go for the job and have the interviews because you're just self-conscious? Are you in pain from all the infections? Um, is it holding you back in relationships? You can't have those intimate times because my teeth fall out or I'm embarrassed about the way I look. All of these things can change your life. There's different indications for each one. I hope this, this video has been helpful for you and I hope we can help you. Please give us a chance. Give us a call and, or go to our website 
and give us a chance to customize something for you so at the end of the day, we can get the solution that you want for you and to be able to change your life.